Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 28th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, still very busy. Six sunspot regions to talk about, as well, solar flares, M-class solar flare, and Many strong, long-duration C-class solar flares still hanging out. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we did have a large plasma filament eruption from the top right or top left-hand side of our sun. You're going to see it on the right-hand side here. And as well in the outgoing position, had an even larger plasma filament eruption. Watching on the right-hand side, we're going to get a closer look at it. But this was massive. Here's a closer look at C-class solar flare, Earth-facing position, as well all of this plasma gathering together here in the southeast region of our sun, and then ejecting out into space. Outgoing position, not an Earth-facing event, but still some amazing imagery here. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory of a large plasma filament eruption. A little Earth to scale to show you the size comparison to such an event. Having a look at multi-spectrum, this is the last 48 hours of events on our star. We still have coronal hole regions and as well six sunspot regions to talk about. M-class solar flare, C-class solar flares, impacts of a CME, and as well, coronal hole wind stream are in full effect right now to Earth. And space weather effects can cause earthquakes, and they have over the past 48 hours. After our sun has produced quite a few events over the last few days, and Earth is still feeling the effects right now with solar winds over 600 kilometers per second and have been persistent for the past three days since we were affected by that large KP of index level 8 geomagnetic storm. Having a look at sunspot regions in the equatorial region, they are very large and moving quickly. Watching in the north there, two brand new Sunspot regions forming right there before our eyes. Space weather condition 691 kilometers per second right now. Currently under a predicted G1 minor geomagnetic storm. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range after seeing a M1.2 M-class solar flare and as well many long duration C-class solar flares. KP index hopping back up to four yet again. Now this is the last seven days for solar winds recorded. And you can see the beginning of our space weather event three days ago, well, four days ago now. So this has been going on for four days when we had solar wind speeds upwards of 740 kilometers per second. And yet again today, over 700 kilometers per second. Cosmic density bunches there, 22. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, this is the latest CME taking off towards Venus and as well giving Mercury as a WAP and Earth a little whip. But this is the forecasted latest CME in an outgoing position. And that is that large plasma filament that we were looking at in the beginning from SDO. Geos our magnetosphere for today. This is solar winds over the past six hours. Lots of energies coming from the back, getting some backdraft from intense solar winds. And the pressure has released over the past 48 hours. And I do believe this is why we're seeing an uptake in seismicity across the world. Having a look at LASCO 3 showing 
the last 48 hours of events on our sun. Large outgoing CME there. Luckily, that was not in an Earth-facing position. That is the M-class solar flare from the other day, and then watching the last few frames there, small CME coming our way. Having a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours, we're going to start out here in the Fiji region as we had quite an earthquake event this morning, early, early, early this morning, 6.6 .6 earthquake, 6.0 earthquake, but all very deep, over 570 kilometers depth for all of these earthquakes. So a big earthquake event underway right now. There are many underwater submarine volcanoes throughout the region. And last year we had Honga Tonga explode and totally affect the south southern hemisphere. We have 48 volcanoes that are erupting around the world. Carrying on here, 5.7, 12 Indonesia this morning as well followed by a 5.5 and a 4.4, 4.9s across Indonesia, up into northern Indonesia, Sabang, 4.8, mid-Indian Ridge, up into Philippines as well, 5.2, and Japan activity coming back as well, 4.4s there, through the Bonin Islands region. And as well, North Japan, 4.3, 4.6 there, Southern Kamchatka. Alaska seeing an uptick in seismicity as well. Lots of minor activity being reported there. USGS reporting over 300 earthquakes in the 24-hour period. Notable earthquake there, Princeton, Canada, 3.4, Princeton, British Columbia. Looking here at USGS, this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, 321 earthquakes in the map right now. A lot of the energy is bouncing around from California up into Alaska and Hawaii, but we're seeing minor activity through Yellowstone as well, up into the Pacific Northwest with this most recent earthquake in Princeton, Canada, five kilometer depth right on the border there with the United States, regular Minor activity across California, increasing activity here through Hawaii, especially at the Kilauea caldera. Seeing 20 earthquakes there reported, but a couple of them right in the pit. And then another closer look here at exactly where these earthquakes were in Fiji. Seven earthquakes in succession over 570 kilometer depths, ranging to 600 kilometer depths, 608, 4.8 there. So we can expect more. We can definitely expect more after seeing such a deep earthquake event. So heads up. 4.5 there, Riv Riviera Plate, Cocos Plate, 4.4, 4.2, and then way too quiet. South America only reporting 4.3 there, Peru, as well, a notable earthquake here, 5.7 South Sandwich Islands, right beside the Michael Volcano. As well, notable here, 4.9 earthquake, Mashhad, Iran. Now, this is a heads up to the world. Over the next 24 to 36 hours, we will see a larger shallower earthquake somewhere. But most likely in the quiet regions, Central America, South America, North American Plate, and over into Europe and the East Indies. So stay aware and prepared and much love everybody. This is the last seven days for Shakers across the world. I appreciate all of the love and support towards the channel and as well you tuning in every day. I will be doing my best here. Internet providing to give you daily reports. 24-7 live stream still hanging on. So please feel free to come and check out anytime. Let's have a quick look here at world weather. Some pretty big systems in the Northern Hemisphere right now. One of them will be a concern for the United States Eastern Seaboard up into Canada. As well in the long range forecast, quite a big system there through the Pacific Northwest will be scooting into the Gulf, providing an extra tropical system for the Eastern Seaboard here in the long range. 
5th into the 6th of May. You got a pretty strong system there developing and moving up the coastline with some very strong winds and a lot of moisture associated with that. Low pressure systems bring rain, high pressure dries things out. High pressure ridge will be building in for a few days after lots of rain here. Low pressure system through Ontario and Eastern Canada and then watch for low pressure system to move into Europe, bringing in waves of moisture from the United Kingdom and southeastward. Give you a little glance here at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. We've got some massive strong systems moving through the southern hemisphere right now. Just a quick glance here at the next few days forecast. Some very strong storms in the southern hemisphere right now. And it seems our atmosphere is ramping up as something's not right. Something is not right. Let's have a look at our upper level winds, starting with our northern hemisphere. This is our northern hemisphere right now at Null School, upper level winds. Looking at equatorial. And then our southern hemisphere polar vortex. As you can see, pulling towards South America, the South Atlantic anomaly, quite possibly going towards our magnetic south pole, which is also drifting just like our magnetic north pole. Some great changes are happening to our planet right now, and it is not our fault. It is the sun's, the son of man. And these changes would be coming nonetheless. Let's have a look at last year at this time. Look at our upper level winds. See the direction along the equator versus right now. Last year, right now. Something's not right. Last year, right now. We are going to have an atmospheric event to deal with over the next little while. So heads up, everybody, and stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. We will be giving you updates daily on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Welcome to the new mini ice age. Brought to you by our sun. It is not our fault. Much love to all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.